stronger. My queen. The Persian emissary awaits Leonidas. Councilman Theron, you found yourself needed. My king and queen, I was just entertaining your guest. I'm sure. Earth and water. You rolled all the way from Persia. What makes this woman think she can speak among men? These Spartan women give birth to real men. Submission to the will of Xerxes. Submission. Now that's a bit of a problem. The Athenians have already turned you down. And if those philosophers and uh, boy lovers have found that kind of nerve, then... We must be diplomatic. And of course, Spartans! Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They may be your last as king. Madman. Earth and water. Well, you'll find plenty of both down there. No man threatens a messenger. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done this. This is blasphemy. This is madness. Madness. This is Sparta! As you ordered, 300. All with born sons to carry on their name. We are with you, sire! For Sparta! For freedom! To the death! For our families. For our freedoms. Paxos! What a pleasant surprise. This morning's full of surprises, Leonard. We heard Sparta was on the warpath. We were eager to join forces. Spartans! What is your profession? Old friend, I brought more soldiers than you did. Zeus stabs the sky with thunderbolts and batters the Persian ships with hurricane wind. This is where we hold them! This is where we fight! This is where they die! And the shield boys! That's the best you can do! Start. You must be Xerxes. Come, Leonidas. Let us reason together. It would be a regrettable waste. It would be nothing short of madness for you, brave king, and your valiant troops to perish. All because of a simple misunderstanding. A few warriors. It won't be long before they fear my spears more than your whips. Lash they fear. It is my divine. As you are, Iron, that few stood against many. And before this battle was over, that even a god king can bleed. Feels a very human chill crawl up his spine. Better your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight we dine in hell! A heightened 
sense of things. The seaborne breeze coolly kissing the sweat at his chin. Gulls cawing, complaining even as they feast on thousands of floating dead. The steady breathing of the 300 at his back. Ready to dive him without a moment's pause. His helmet is stifling. His helmet was stifling. It narrowed his vision, but he must see far. His shield was heavy. It threw him off balance, and his target is far away. One say we Spartans are descended from Hercules himself. Bold Leonidas gives testament to our bloodline. His roar is long and loud. King's cryptic talk of victory. Time has proven him wise. But from free Greek to free Greek, the word was spread that bold Leonidas and his 300, so far from home, laid down their lives, not just for Sparta, but for all Greece and the promise this country holds. Now, here on this rugged patch of earth called Plataea, Xerxes hordes face obliteration! <laughs> Just there, the barbarians huddle. Sheer terror gripping tight. Their hearts, with icy fingers, knowing full well what merciless horrors they suffered at the swords and spears of 300. Yet they stare now, across the plain, at 10,000 Spartans, commanding 30,000 free Greeks! Ho! <laughs> the enemy outnumbers a poultry three to one! Good odds for any Greek. This day, we rescue a world from mysticism and tyranny. And I shall in a future brighter than anything we can imagine. Give thanks, man! To Leonidas and the brave 300! The victory!